So do you also want to automatically send wedding and event invitations on WhatsApp? Then this video is definitely for you. So hello all, welcome back to Pabli Connect and in this video we are going to understand how to send wedding and event invitations on WhatsApp using Pabli chat flow. So like you, I also used to manually send all the invitations. But this is such a time consuming and a tedious task. So to solve this problem, I've simply created this amazing connection between my Google Sheets and Pabli chat flow so now what is going to happen is that whenever i add my details into my google sheets automatically wedding invitations and event invitations will be sent towards my invitees on whatsapp without knowing any programming or coding language so to do this we are simply going to create a connection between google sheets and pabli chat flow using pabli connect and if you also want to create this amazing connection and send wedding invitations and event invitations automatically then for that you have to come with me towards my screen welcome to my screens in this video i'll show you how to send beautiful wedding invitations directly on whatsapp using pabli chart flow from rsvp tracking to sharing event details and location maps this automation ensures your guests stay informed and excited right from their whatsapp so let's dive in and make event communication seamless and elegant and instant with whatsapp and pabli so to do this we have simply opened our spreadsheet where we have the details of all the invitees and now I'm just going to send them the wedding invitation with the help of Pabli chat flow and whatsapp but you must be wondering how are we going to send them directly without knowing any programming or coding language so to do this we are simply going to use Pabli connect and if you also want to send wedding invitations within seconds to all the invitees then for that you have to watch this tutorial till the end so to do this we are simply going to open a new tab and we're going to look for the landing page of Pabli connect simply by searching pabli.com slash connect in our browser and now it is opening the landing page of Pabli connect and over here we're going to get two options one is sign in and the another one is sign up for free so if you are a new user you can click on this sign up for free and you're going to get hundreds of tasks free every month to explore the application but over here I am an existing user so I'm simply going to click on this button which says sign in and once we're going to click on this sign in it is opening all Pabli apps and over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting different applications. So I'm simply going to click on this access now right over here to access my Pabli Connects account. And once we're going to click on this access now, it is opening my dashboard. And to get started with our automation, we simply have to click on this button which says create workflow. And now it is asking me for the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So over here on my dashboard, you can see multiple folders which I've already created in which I save my workflows. So I'm just going to save my workflows in one of this folder only. If you also want to create a new folder, you can go towards this create a new folder button and create your own. I'm just going to save my workflow in this folder only which is automations and I'm just going to name my workflow as send wedding and event invitations on WhatsApp using Pabli chart flow. And then we are simply going to click on this button which says create. And once we are going to click on this create, it is going to open the most important window of our automation which is our workflow window. So this is the most important window because we have trigger and action in this. Trigger and actions are the two main principles on which our workflow is going to run. Trigger means when this happens and action means do this. So by this you can understand that the actions are response towards the commands given by our trigger. And that's the particular reason that we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger in a particular workflow. And to get started we are simply going to select our trigger application. So for my trigger application, I'm simply going to select it as Google Sheets right over here. So I'm just going to search for Google Sheets right over here. And as you can see, the same, so we are simply going to select it. And now for the trigger event, I'm simply going to select it as new or updated spreadsheet row. And now it is giving me a webhook URL. So we're going to use the same webhook URL in order to create a connection between our Google Sheets and our Pabli Connects workflow. So I'm simply going to copy this webhook URL and then we're going to follow this help text. And it is saying we have to open our Google Sheets. 
and now from here we have to go towards this extensions add-ons and then we have to go towards this get add-ons and after coming over here towards this get add-ons we have to add an extension in this spreadsheet which is Pabli connect web books so i'm simply going to search for Pabli connect web books right over here and as you can see that i have already installed this extension so it is giving me the option of uninstall right over here but if you haven't installed this extension you are definitely going to get the option of install right over here and once you're going to install this extension you have to refresh your spreadsheet so it is a really important step to refresh your spreadsheet otherwise you're not going to get the option of Pabli connect web books right over here in your extensions tab and after getting this Pabli connect web books option we simply have to go towards this initial setup and now after coming over here towards this initial setup over here it is asking me for the web book url and the trigger column so over here for the web book url we are simply going to paste the url which we copied from our workflow and now for the trigger column i'm just going to enter my trigger column which is c so the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row will be sent towards your web book url so over here you can see that i only have three details in my spreadsheet so my trigger column is c if you have two details it will be b if you have four it will be d so the trigger column will be according to your spreadsheet only and after doing this i'm simply going to click on this button which says submit and once we're going to click on this submit it is saying setup configured successfully and with this we have successfully created a connection between our google sheets and our pabli connects workflow but now it is saying waiting for a web book response and in the notes it is saying do a test submission slash record so in order to capture this web book response we have to do a test submission or record for that i'm just going to put my spreadsheet and then we are simply going to click on this button which says send test and once we're going to click on this send test it is saying test data sent successfully so it has successfully sent me the test data so i'm just going to open my workflow and as you can see that pabli has captured the response over here you can see the phone number the guest name and the address captured so yes with this we have successfully completed our trigger step but now what we're going to do is i'm just going to go towards this extensions pabli connect web books and then we are simply going to switch on this button which is send on event so upon switching on this button what is going to happen is that whenever a new guest detail will be added right over here in the spreadsheet automatically the details would be sent towards my web book url also all right so now we're going to move on further now over here you can see with this we have successfully connected this google sheets now i want to send wedding invitations on whatsapp using pabli chat flow right so for my action application what i'm just going to select pabli chat flow so i'm just going to search for pabli chat flow right over here and as you can see pabli chat flow so we are simply going to select it and now for the action event we are simply going to select it as send template message so pabli chat flow is a feature by pabli which helps you to send whatsapp messages you can send template messages you can send text messages image messages and much more if you want to know more about pabli chat flow you can check out our youtube channel we have many videos on pabli chat flow where you can also learn how to create a whatsapp chatbot using pabli chat flow all right this video is only going to focus on send wedding invitations on whatsapp using pabli chat flow so i'm just going to select my action event as send template message and click on this connect and now it is asking me to add a new connection or select an existing connection so if you have already connected your pabli chat flow account with your pabli connects workflow you can simply click on this select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the token and to get this token we are simply going to follow the help text and it is saying enter the api token head log into pabli chat flow account navigate to settings and then select api and web books and then copy the api token so i'm just going to open my pabli chat flow account first and now i'm just going to go towards this access now and open my pabli chat flow and once i'm just going to open my pabli chat flow i'm just going to get this api key from where we have to go towards this settings and then api and web books all right so i'm just going to open the dashboard and now from here we have to go towards this settings and then from here we have to go towards this api and web books and over here you can see that this is my pabli chat flow api token so i'm simply going to copy this token right from here and then we're going to paste this token right over here in our workflow and after pasting this api token we are simply going to click on this button which says save and once we're going to click on this save with this we have successfully connected our pabli chat flow account with our pabli connects workflow and now it is asking me to enter the recipient mobile number so over here you can see the recipient mobile number is this so i'm simply going to enter the same recipient mobile number right over here but we are not going to enter it manually like this but instead we're going to map it so you must be wondering what is mapping so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected google sheets as our trigger application so we are simply going to map the details 
messages from the response of a trigger application only so i'm simply going to map this mobile number from the response of my previous step which is phone number so as you can see that we have successfully mapped this mobile number over here you can see in the notes you have to keep in mind that you have to enter the whatsapp mobile number with the country code but without the plus sign so as you can see that i've entered the mobile number in these sequence only in my spreadsheet you can see that i have entered the country code but i haven't entered the plus sign so you have to keep in mind that the mobile number should include the country code but should not include the plus sign all right and now after doing this we're going to move on further now it is asking me to select the template over here before selecting the template i'm just going to open my public chart flow account and first i'm just going to show you this template section so over here i'm just going to go towards the left side of the bar towards the template section of my public chart flow account and over here in my public chart flow account you can see all the templates which i have already created and over here if you want to learn more about the template section of public chart flow account or if you want to learn how to add a new template then for that i'm just going to attach a video in the description box below you can check it out it is going to let you know step by step about how to add a new template in public chart flow account and in detail about the template section or the feature of public chart flow over here you can see that i have already created my template named invitation and over here you can see all the messages all right so i'm just going to select the same template right over here which is invitation and now we're going to move on further after selecting the template name it is saying header type so over here you can see that i have kept my header type in the template as image so we're just going to select the same and move on further now it is asking me for the header parameter so my header doesn't have any parameter so i'm just going to leave it as blank and move on further now it is asking me for the image url which is the media url so over here you can see that i have added an image right over here in my template and also you can see in the whatsapp message that i want to send this image to all my invitees whom i want to invite to my wedding so what we're going to do is i'm simply going to add the same image in my wordpress account and we're going to simply get the url of the same image right from here i have already uploaded it and over here you can see this i'm just going to copy this url and we're going to paste that url right over here and after pasting this url we're going to move on forward it is asking me for the file name so for the file name i'm just going to enter the file name as wedding invitation so i'm just going to enter this file name right over here and after entering this file name i'm just going to move on further now it is saying copy of a code so this is not the required field i'm just going to leave it as blank it is asking me for the url variables so no my url doesn't has any so i'm just going to leave it as blank it is asking me to enter the body parameter which is one in curly brackets example demo user so what is this body parameter so to let you know about this body parameter i'm just going to open my template which i've created so here you can see in this template i have entered dear and then i have entered one in curly brackets so you must be wondering why this one is in curly brackets because i want to send a personalized message to all my invitees i don't want to send them a static message like dear user or dear invitee with great join our hearts i want to send them a message with their name in it like dear test user dear demo user like i have shared over here so that is the reason that i have kept this one as a variable right over here and it is going to change with every new response received and we are just going to map this value of one right over here in the body parameter so which is the guest name so i'm simply going to map this guest name right over here so right now i have only a single body parameter in my template but if you have multiple you have to enter the comma separated values right over here all right now after doing this we're going to move on further now it is saying enter the contacts full name right over here so i'm simply going to enter the contacts full name which is the guest name now after mapping this we're going to move on further it is saying opted in i'm just going to keep it as yes it is saying incoming blocked i'm just going to keep it as no it is saying tags to remove and tags to add so if you wish you can definitely add a tag or remove a tag too it is now asking me for the attribute names and attribute values so if you wish you can definitely add attribute name and values with the help of this workflow only but right now i'm just going to only focus on send the wedding invitation so i'm just going to leave all of these unnecessary fields blank and click on the save and send test request but before clicking on the save and send test request i'll just let you know that over here we only have to enter a mobile number which is active on whatsapp so i'm just going to replace this dummy phone number with my original phone number so that i can show the message and the response received and you also have to keep in mind that you only have to enter the mobile number which is activated on whatsapp so i'm just going to enter my mobile number right over here and as you can see that i've simply entered my mobile number and now after entering this mobile number i'm simply going to click on this save and send test request and once we're going to click on this save 
students send test requests, you can see that we have received a positive response that we have successfully sent a message to this number. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to open my Pabli chart flow and then we're going to go towards the inbox section of my Pabli chart flow account to check for the message sent. So I'm simply going to open the inbox section of my Pabli chart flow account right over here. And after opening this inbox section, we are just going to go towards this demo user. So as you can see, a few seconds ago, this message has been sent and also delivered. So I'm just going to open my WhatsApp and yes, you can see that I have received a new message and now I've successfully read this message. So in the inbox section, you can see also the status of red has been came right over here. So yes, you can see with this, we have successfully sent a wedding invitation to demo user. But not only to demo user, I want to send a wedding invitation to all of them which I have right over here in my list, right? So what we're going to do is I'm just going to send a wedding invitation to all of them with the help of a single click. But before sending these invitations, I'm just going to erase some of these so that I can show the proper working of this automation. I'm just going to erase this demo details and I'm just going to change these numbers into real numbers so that I can show you the message sent. All right. So I'm simply going to change this numbers one by one. And as you can see that now I've successfully changed all of these numbers into real numbers. And now I'm just going to show you how I'm just going to send them messages in single second. For that, we are simply going to go towards this extensions, Pabli Connect Webbooks. And over here, you can see the button of send all data. So I'm simply going to click on this send all data and automatically a WhatsApp message would be sent to all of these three numbers one by one. So I'm just going to do the same. I'm simply going to click on this send all data and all of this data which I have in my spreadsheet will be sent towards my Webbook URL and further invitation will be sent towards all of these three numbers. So yes, now what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to open the inbox section of my Pabli chart flow account and over here in the inbox section, you can see a WhatsApp message has been sent to demo user. A WhatsApp message has been sent to user one and also to test user right over here. So one by one, a WhatsApp message has been sent to all the users which I had in my list right over here. Such a useful automation that with this single click, I have sent a WhatsApp message to all of these. So right now, I only had three details. But if you have hundred of contact right over here, WhatsApp message would be sent to all of them at once. So yes, this is the power of automation which we created right now. And also not only the message, the wedding invitation card will also be sent towards your users. So yes, you can see that I've successfully received the WhatsApp messages right over here too. So yes, with this, we have successfully completed this amazing automation. And not only this, let's say I'm just going to add a new guest right over here, then a WhatsApp message will be sent to that guest too. Because I've already switched on this button, which is sent on event. So yes, with this, we have successfully completed this video and this amazing automation too. So now go try this amazing automation yourself too, because right now we are offering a free trial of Pabli Chat Flow and Pabli Connect both. And while trying, if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow, you can directly comment on this video. See you in the next video with many more automation tips, everyone. Thank you for watching. So not only these applications, but with the help of Pabli Connect, you can connect many more applications. So now if you have any doubts, you can reach us at support at the rate If you have any queries, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can follow this URL. And now go try this amazing automation for your own business too because right now we are offering a free trial of Pabli Connect.